Hi, welcome to the tutorial for using voucher match automation to match the invoice fee lines. A purchase order for $1,000 has been raised and received in JDE. However, its corresponding invoice is of $1,010, which comprises $1,000 corresponding to the purchase order and the additional $10 for freight. Now, let us see how JD Adverse Voucher Match Automation handles this situation and matches the additional fee automatically. Let's sign in to Enterprise One. In the interest of time, a single purchase order of $1,000 has been created with the order number 18129 and the quantity has been received for this purchase order. We have also set up account 30.6350 that will be used by P0411Z1 and the expense account 30.2060 that will specify for invoice fee processing. The first step towards matching invoice fee lines using voucher match automation is to set the processing options in the new order line tab of the voucher match automation driver report, which will now be referred to as R4304010. On the new order line tab, specify 30.2060 as the expense account. This account will override the account specified in P0411Z1 for the processing of the invoice fee. To override the tax amounts for additional fee, enter 1 in the override tax amounts processing option. Save the settings. Now access P0411Z1 using FastPath. Click Add. Enter the company, business unit, supplier, GL date, and the invoice number. In the detail section, let's scroll to the right and enter the invoice amount in the taxable amount for the system to calculate the taxes. Enter 1000 in the first line, 10 for the invoice fee amount. You can see that the system has calculated the taxes in the tax amount column. Let us enter the order details because the processing option for P4314 has been set to include the fee line in the purchase order. Our order number is 18129. That's what we created. And then the order type and the company. Now scroll back and we can see that the system has updated the amount to the total of the amount including the tax. In this example, we have selected the processing option to override the tax amounts. So let's update the tax amounts from 100 to 102 and from 1 to 2. Let's verify that the system updates the amounts. We get this error because the system is still calculating. So we'll clear the amount and tab out of the field. The system has now recalculated the amounts to include the updated tax amounts. The very important part of this is to select the invoice fee checkbox to specify the line as invoice fee line. And when we do that, the system assigns process type 5 for the invoice fee line. Let's enter 30.6350 as the expense account for processing the invoice fee. The system will override this with the expense account specified in the processing options of the program. Let's save this record. The system has created the batch 24748. Now let's close this window. On the work with store and forward vouchers form, with the batch number in the batch number field, you can click find to view the records for the batch. You need to uncheck the summarize checkbox for all records to show. You can see that the process type is 1 and 5 for the invoice and invoice fee line, respectively. After you run R4304010, 
these will change to 4 and 6 respectively. Before you run this report, specify the version of P4314 in the processing options of R4304016, which we have already done. Now, let us access the processing options for P4314 and access the New Order Line tab. Specify 2 for Order Line Entry for P0411Z1 Specify the other processing options, but 5 and 6 are not applicable for voucher match automation. Save the settings. Now, let us run R4304010 in final mode for the batch that we created. Click OK to run the report. Click Data Selection and then Submit on the version prompting form. Provide the data selection as batch equal to 24748. Click OK and then again OK to process the report. Access the PDF, scroll to the last page and you can see that the report displays both the invoice line and the invoice fee line and the total amount for both lines individually. Make note of the document number 19827. Now let's verify that the taxes are correct and this voucher contains the overridden values and also the fee line. Close the report, access P0411 and verify the vouchered entries. You can see there are two entries and the gross amount is matching the gross amount in P0411Z1 that includes the revised tax amounts. Select a line and click OK. Now we see that the tax amount and the gross amount are all matching with the updates we made to the taxes. The system has overridden the expense account for the fee line with the expense account we had specified in the processing options for R4304010. This completes the voucher match automation process to match the invoice including the invoice fee lines. You can also verify whether the fee line is inserted in the purchase order. To learn more about voucher match automation for invoice fee lines, visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.